The cracks in the Liberal caucus have been visible ever since the SNC-Lavalin story broke. Uh, I'm going to attend caucus as I always do and uh, we'll see how the conversation goes. Yeah. So everyone met for the first time since and tried to put Humpty Dumpty together again. I apologize to Jody uh, Wilson-Raybould because uh, the I wasn't quick enough to condemn uh, in unequivocal terms the uh, comments and commentary and cartoons uh, made about her last week. Uh, they were absolutely unacceptable uh, and I should have done it sooner. Caucus sources say Trudeau also conceded to his MPs that he has not handled this controversy perfectly and apologize that MPs have been left in the dark. Multiple sources say the caucus meeting was largely a call for unity, including from Jody Wilson-Raybould. Sources say that despite everything, Wilson-Raybould reassured MPs she was on the Liberal team and supported the Liberal agenda. Many ministers and MPs emerged to speed walk past reporters, but those who spoke sang a positive tune. Honest and straightforward discussion, great things. Judy is a great person. Next and Uncle Chris. But as the day wore on, those cracks started to reemerge. Mr. Erskine Smith. Mr. Erskine Smith. Mr. Long. Mr. Long. Two Liberal MPs, Nathaniel Erskine Smith and Wayne Long, who have a history of breaking ranks, voted with the opposition in an unsuccessful attempt to force a public inquiry. The other member for Vancouver Granville is rising at a point of order. Also, this happened. I would ask that the record show that I abstain from voting on that matter. She um, said she didn't vote because the motion affected her directly. She considers that a conflict. Um, I understand fully that Canadians want to know the truth and want transparency. Privilege and confidentiality are not mine to waive, and I hope that I have the opportunity to speak my truth. Just hours after she had pledged loyalty, she brought the opposition to its feet. As to what her truth is, that will have to wait. What do you mean by when you said you I don't have anything further to say. Thank you. Okay, David, do we have a sense of how liberals are feeling today after another eventful one on the Hill? Well, I have to tell you, after the caucus meeting, the liberals I spoke with were feeling pretty good about the fact that Jody Wilson-Raybould was there and that she was speaking about team unity. But they all expressed a measure of concern that they just didn't know what she was going to do or say next. And then the abstention happened in the House of Commons vote. So it seems pretty clear there's some sort of an attempt to smooth things over. We saw that with the Prime Minister's apology. But yeah. there are obvious public signs that things maybe aren't going so well. And there's also some private signs, too. Okay, we, we don't obviously hear what happens inside cabinet meetings because that would be <laughs> dangerous, illegal. <laughs> but we have, in spite of all that, learned some details uh, about uh, when Jody Wilson-Raybould made that surprise appearance there yesterday. Yeah, we know cabinet ran extra long yesterday, and part of that is because Jody Wilson-Raybould waited for two hours outside the cabinet room while her colleagues debated whether or not to let her in. We have multiple sources telling us that there was deep concern about letting her walk in the cabinet door a week after she walked out of cabinet. The prime minister finally agreed. Now, we don't know exactly what Jody Wilson-Raybould said because of that cabinet confidence, mm -hmm. but we're told she was unapologetic. We saw some of that today, probably with the abstention. And the big question tonight, Rosie, is what is she going to say when she finally testifies at that House of Commons Justice Committee? Okay. David Cochran on this story again for us yeah. tonight in Ottawa. Thank you. Thank you.